Sit back and throw one back with your pinky in the air and a middle finger to the world. And join me, the eclectic gentleman, Stephen Watts, as we look back on this day in pro wrestling history. But before we do, put that drink down, like, share, and subscribe. And without further ado, let's get our wrestling history on. Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, children of all ages, it is July 7th. And we're going to start off as we always do on a positive note. That's right. These are your pro wrestling birthdays. 1952, one of the Guerrero clan, Mondo Guerrero. Moving all the way to 1978, England's own Mark Sloan. Of course, on the flip side of that coin, your pro wrestling desk for July 7th. Former European heavyweight champion, Henry Deglin. All right, enough of the sad stuff. It's time to get to the meat and potatoes. That's right. These are your pro wrestling history highlights for July 7th. A short trip in the Wayback Machine today as we start in 1977. Greg Gagne and Jim Brunzel defeat Blackjack Lanza and Bobby Duncombe for the AWA World Tag Team Titles in Winnipeg, Manitoba. Moving ahead to 1983. Jim Crockett Promotions ran Norfolk, Virginia, headlined by NWA U.S. champion Greg Valentine and Jake Roberts, defeating Ric Flair and Roddy Piper via disqualification, and NWA World Heavyweight Champion Harley Race, defeating Wahoo McDaniel. Jumping ahead to 1986, Dusty Rhodes, Ricky Morton, and Robert Gibson defeat NWA World Champion Ric Flair, Ole Anderson, and NWA TV champion Arn Anderson in the main event of a Jim Crockett Promotions show in Rocky Mount, North Carolina. Fast forwarding to 1990, WCW held their Great American Bash pay-per-view at the Baltimore Arena in Baltimore, Maryland. In the main event, Sting defeated Ric Flair to win the NWA World Heavyweight title for the first time. Junkyard Dog Paul Arndorf and the Steiners were at ringside to prevent interference, and Ole Anderson was handcuffed to L.A. Gante. At the end of the match, Sting missed a Stinger splash, and Flair went for the figure four, but Sting cradled him into a small package for the win. Making the leap to 1996, WCW Bash at the Beach was held in Daytona Beach, Florida at the Ocean Center. The main event sees Kevin Nash, Scott Hall, and their mystery partner, versus Randy Savage, Sting, and Lex Luger to a no contest. The Outsiders had promised a third member, but it wasn't until the end of the match when Hulk Hogan came out and leg-dropped Randy Savage that it was revealed. Hogan, Hall, and Nash continued to beat down Savage and Sting. Luger had been stretched out earlier in the bout. Mean Gene Okerlund then interviewed Hogan, Hall, and Nash as the fans threw garbage in the ring. Hogan declared that he was the third outsider, and the NWO, the New World Order, was formed. Those were your super short but sweet pro wrestling history highlights for July 7th. I'm the eclectic gentleman, Stephen Watts, and we'll see you tomorrow.